What is up, guys? Welcome, creator of Hard Bases here. And I've saw some of this stuff. You guys ask me for more Ford stuff all the time. But why would Ford be testing factory deleted diesels in a consumer package, huh? Reports of a major automotive manufacturer like Ford testing factory deleted diesels raise significant questions, as such modifications are typically illegal for on road consumer vehicles in the US and other regulated markets. A deleted diesel refers to an engine from which the emissions control systems, such as the diesel particulate filter, DPF, and selective catalytic reduction SCR system, have been physically removed or electronically disabled. This practice, while popular in some aftermarket communities for perceived benefits in performance, fuel economy, and maintenance, is a direct violation of the Clean Air Act. The fact that a company like Ford which has invested billions in developing compliant, clean diesel technology, would appear to be engaged in such testing is a notable and complex discovery. While it is highly unlikely Ford would test these vehicles for the general consumer market, there are plausible explanations for such a discovery. One primary reason is for non-consumer applications, such as military, government, or off-highway use. Vehicles designated for these purposes are often exempt from standard emissions regulations, especially if they are deployed in remote locations or conflict zones where low sulfur diesel fuel or diesel exhaust fluid DEF, is not readily available. Additionally, these tests could be part of an internal research and development program to study the raw performance and durability of an engine without the added complexity of emission systems. Such data can be crucial for engineers to understand the fundamental mechanics of the powertrain. It is also possible that a test mule was misidentified, and what appeared to be a deleted system was in fact a temporary prototype setup that was not yet fully integrated, leading to a misleading observation. So let's get into these findings that has blown up the heavy-duty truck world. Wow. Ford right now is testing. I'm telling you because I've confirmed it now through five different sources at different levels within the company of Ford. And it takes me a little longer when I do Ford stuff because I don't have those, what I want to call those, you know, ace in the hole type of sources. It's not the same thing. Like I have literally, like if you were, if you were, if you were a government and you had the head of somebody else's government security team as a source, bang. So for me, Having those sources that I have is huge. But having the sources that I had to, I've had to work really hard to get some of these sources that I'm getting within Ford. Let me tell you this. So Ford right now is testing on the road 6.7 diesel trucks. Now this is what's weird. One is a single cab truck and I have photos and videos of both. Um, the other one is a regular quad cab F250 diesel. The other one, what one is a F350, what makes it interesting is they're factory deleted. No DEF, no DPF. I think they have an EGR maybe. That's up for debate, post the IMI, because I have images of the engine bay, but I also know just like in technology, and I used, you know, leaking different types of tech, whether it was phones or equipment or tablets or whatever companies will put little marks, little things in the design on the device to try to, it's almost like a fingerprint to show where that comes from. So they could narrow down leaks. And um, it looks like Ford is doing this with this truck too, with this engine. Cause there's some marks that you wouldn't normally see in that engine bay. So if I can, once I can confirm and I can blur those things out and you can still see the engine clearly, I will post those images. We'll come back and do a video. But I also don't want to burn these newly generated sources. But they're testing them right now in Michigan. Two that I know of for sure. Which means there's more than just those two. But why would they be testing factory deleted diesels? Could Ford and Ann hear me out? Could Ford be ready to go all in because they know the endangerment findings about to go out the window? Could Ford be the first company? And if they, if Ram misses the boat on this, I'm literally going to be upset. But could Ford be the first to roll out and say, hey, we love the new regulatory environment. The consumers have spoken and factory deleted diesels are here. Maybe, maybe. All I can tell you is this. Do I know that they're going to put this these trucks into production? No, and I know what you're gonna say. I already know what the dumb asses in the comments are going to. Those are made for the military, hard basis bro. They ain't making no King Ranch for the military. I can tell you I drive a factory deleted diesel on base occasionally at Nellis. 
that is a bare bones truck. We ain't get no King Ranch F350, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Ford makes a factory deleted 6.7 power stroke you didn't know about. Y'all see it yet? Factory delete plates from Ford. This thing has zero emissions. No DPF. And this is what a factory deleted 6.7 power stroke sounds like. They have absolutely zero emissions equipment on them and OEM Ford delete kit. The case, the only way you're ever going to be able to drive a factory deleted 6.7 is if you are part of the military. According to this article from Road and Track, Ford specifically produces OEM DPF deleted 6.7 power strokes just for the military. In the article, it states that military vehicles run through some of the toughest and most stressful mechanical situations on the planet. And I quote, reliability is more than just a desire. Which means they already know the trucks that we are able to buy, which would be with DPFs and all the emissions equipment are not that reliable hence the reason that they take them off and sell the military factory deleted six seven power strip so this is good news it could be that ford is just trying to get their ducks in a row get the appropriate tune together so that in the event when the endangerment finding goes and there's more regulatory certainty of what's going to happen ford could be the first company dropping factory deleted diesels to consumers you heard it here first but let's get on the realistic wagon here. I know I got you all excited, but this is what's more than likely happening. Ford has been publicly testing diesels without diesel particulate filters, DPFs, for sale in the United States, rather. Trucks with missing DPFs have been documented being manufactured for export and for U.S. military use. But these vehicles are not intended or legal for street legal use in the U.S. and do not meet American emissions standards. There was a separate Ford emissions investigation in 2019 concerning allegations of using defeat devices, though Ford denied these claims and stated their vehicles comply with U.S. EPA regulations. Factory exports and military use videos have surfaced showing new Ford trucks, like the F-450 Super Duty, on flatbeds and at dealerships without a DPF installed, according to a YouTube video. These trucks are intended for foreign markets or for the U.S. military, which may not require emissions equipment such as DPFs, says Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. For example, the U.S. Air Force tested their 6.7 liter power stroke engines in an export configuration without DPFs or EGR systems. Legal and Performance Consequences of DPF Removal Removing a DPF on a truck meant for the U.S. market is illegal under federal law, as it results in non-compliance with emission standards. While removing the DPF can increase power and improve engine airflow, it also carries risks such as increased pollution, potential engine damage, and possible failure to meet emissions requirements. Modern diesel engines are designed to work with these systems, and removing them can trigger error codes or lead to the limp mode without proper tuning. Past emissions related issues. In 2019, Ford faced a criminal investigation in the US regarding allegations of using defeat devices to cheat on emissions tests, although Ford denied using such devices. This investigation was different from the trucks appearing without DPFs, as it focused on software manipulation rather than factory configuration for export or military use, notes The Guardian. Subscribe, like, share, follow, comment fast to the point news and information daily here on Hard Basis.